Well, it's a pleasure to be here. I um, want to thank everybody for coming out, especially the media. I think it's great, um, great expo exposure for our conference. And uh, the event seems to be real well um, ran as far as being here my first year. I uh, want to congratulate UNK and Mines for last, last year's successes. Um, and also want to welcome Eric and Jay to the conference along with myself. So um, it's been an uh, interesting seven months. Um, a lot of work to do, as you guys know, that have started programs. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, been a pretty busy time uh, for the last six, seven months with recruiting and, and um, trying, to, trying to recruit our current players to stay on, on campus and not leave. And, um, you know, just uh, we're, we're extremely ex excited about the opportunity. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's been a uh, very productive spring. Um, the, we like where we see the future of Western State football is headed uh, with, with the players we currently have in our, our system and um, the, the players that we do have coming in as well. Um, obviously, being a first-time head coach, you know, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a big uh, transition. And I do want to thank, um, I know I've talked to some of the coaches in the conference as well with questions I've had, and you guys have done, uh, done me a service and helped me out in, in many different ways. So I appreciate that very much. Um, I'm very humbled uh, for this opportunity at Western. Obviously, um, you guys that have been in the conference know it's, it's got a very rich tradition um, with a lot of past history of good teams. And, and obviously, we're going to look to restore that. Um, kind of taking a different approach with, with what you guys covered. Um, well, you know, we're starting brand new. We do have a, uh, some veteran players on our team uh, as far as upperclassmen go. We have. Uh, Ten seniors total, seven on offense, three of them are quarterbacks, one, uh, one is an uh, offensive lineman, um, and then I believe two are receivers. Then we have three on defense, um, uh, Levi Ostrom being one of them. Uh, he, he's been in the program for the last five years. And then, and then two of the other seniors are our transfer players that we brought in last year. So we are a young football team. Um, you know, we, we do have um, a decent number in our junior class as well. But uh, we're, we're a young team. Uh, most of the guys that you'll see on the field for us are going to be um, sophomores, redshirt freshmen, or, or some transfers we have coming in this, this next year. Um, we have returning, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into names or anything, but uh, on offense, we have about eight guys that played quite a bit for us last year. Um, on defense, we have about six, six guys that played for us last year. But again, it comes back to they don't have any experience w w with our staff and, and the system we're putting into place. Uh, so they're all new to us, you know, and that's the, that's the approach we took in the spring. That's the approach uh, we took over the summer as well. Um, I have no idea who's going to be on the field. I, I know we have some veteran guys that have been two, three year starters for us at certain positions, but we got guys moving all over the place. You know, um, finding the right fit is what we're trying to do. Move guys from offense to defense or, you know, receiver to running back, whatever it may be. Uh, we're trying to find the right guys for the right spots. Um, I do have two guys with me here today. Uh, Johnny Peeper is a junior safety from Hodgkiss, Colorado. And, and then I have Jermaine Daniels, who's a junior running back from Miami, Florida. Uh, both uh, have been very committed this offseason um, with winter conditioning, spring practice, uh, over the, over uh, our summer program, uh, these guys have been here all summer. Um, they, they'll be on the field for us somewhere. They'll be uh, pretty big contributors to our program next fall. Um, and we appreciate them being here as well. New staff in place. Um, our, our staff is a mixture of guys uh, that, that I've known from the past, guys I've coached with. Some of them are very familiar with the conference. Uh, some are from Colorado as well. Um, you know, we're, we're excited. Uh, obviously, we're very young as a staff. And um, so, are, so are my assistants at the same time. Believe it or not, I'm the oldest on our staff, for that matter. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a different, it's a different aspect now for our program. And, uh, we, you know, one thing that you're going to see from us is we're going to bring a lot of energy. You know, we're going to bring a lot of energy to practice. Uh, you know, we feel good about the relationship we built with our players and are going to continue to build at the same time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's opening up a lot of doors for us, at, you know, with our, with our players that we currently have, with recruiting, um, 
with, with a new staff, obviously comes some change. You know, they got to get used to us, and, and um, you know, we obviously got to change some change some old habits maybe they had and, and try to get them to, you know, obviously adjust to what we want to do with, with our schemes and techniques and things. Uh, you know, so there's plenty of room for growth, and, and that's what we're looking to do. That's what we tried to do this spring. Um, you know, I took, a, I took a little bit of time with the hires, but I wanted to make sure we had the right guys and uh, they understood what, you know, our mission is at Western and where we're looking to head in the future and um, the direction of the program. Uh, as far as recruiting, again, We'll see who shows up here in about 10 days. Um, you know, we did um, obviously target Colorado, which we'll continue to do. And, and at the current time, uh, we, we did um, feel like we, we were trying to take the best players available in the state of Colorado. Uh, after that, shortly after that, uh, we went out of state to junior college and uh, different areas of the country now. And, um, you know, just uh, tried to fill some needs and uh, pick up the pick up the right guys more than anything. We're trying to find the right fit for Gunnison. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a unique community, and, and we've got to make sure our players fit our town, fit our program, and, and what we're trying to do there. Um, other than that, I don't really have a whole lot. Uh, spring practice went well, and uh, you know we're, we're geared up, uh, getting ready to rock in about 10 days. So any questions? Yes? At Shadron State, one of your responsibilities was special teams. Your quarterback, passing game coordinator at uh, Western State succeeded you in charge of special teams at Shadron State. You guys going to have a knockdown drag out to see who gets to run the special teams program there, or are you going to use your uh, power as, as head coach to make the decision just and say, this is it? You know, not really. We're actually, um, you know, our, we have a unique staff. You know, Tony Case was a was, uh, you know, he helped me at Shadron when we first started there. Then, then Ryan McDonough was helping me as well. Tony's a great long snapping coach. You know, he knows protections. You know, he, he went to a couple NFL mini camps and did those things, so he does an exceptional job there. Um, you know, Ryan's done it himself, um, you know, for the last year and a half or so. And, um, you know, we just, you know, obviously we're a young staff. We bring a lot of ideas. Um, all of us have had, you know, a hand in the same system for quite some time. Um, a few of the other coaches Kelly led with is a, is a secondary coach for us. Uh, Jerron Fairman's a wide receivers coach. Both of them were at Fresno State when I was playing. Um, you know, so we come from a very similar mold. So we have a lot of the same common ideas and, and uh, thoughts, which makes it easier for our staff to, to divvy things up and, and make sure they're done um, right. You know, so we're excited about it. Coach, what was your first order of business uh, once you were named head coach at Western State? You know, the, the first thing I did was obviously, you know, try to start uh, hiring our staff, which uh, you know, had a pretty good idea w when we got rolling in this position of uh, who I had in mind and started getting those guys hired. Um, and then recruiting, you know, uh, it was a late start, you know, and maybe not as late as Adam, you know, in May last year, but, uh, you know, got hired in January. And, um, you know, just, just with the hirings, and I, I never went on the road, you know, in, in during recruiting. so. Uh, just trying to hire coaches and, and get them on board, and then the workouts going on campus. So as coaches got in, they got on the road immediately um, following it. And so just trying to get out and recruit and uh, get coaches hired w was our first priority. Coach, you and uh, many members of your staff coached, obviously, at Shadron State. Do you think there's a, a potential rivalry brewing here? Hard to say. You know, um, I think uh, you know we have a lot of respect for those coaches over there, obviously, and uh, along with the rest of the rest of the conference. And um, you know, it'll it'll be hard to say. You know, we got ties back to that place, um, just coaching there. Um, you know, in past experiences, but uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. You know, we look forward to playing every week. And uh, right now, we're just worried about Angelo State. So.